Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this op-amp circuit and we have been asked to find the ratio of the RF and R in. So here, the given op-amp is the ideal op-amp and we have been also given that this V reference is some fixed voltage. Now to find the ratio of this RF and R in, we have been also given some conditions. That means whenever this V in is equal to 0.1 volt at that time, this V out is equal to 1 volt. And whenever this V in is equal to 1 volt, then this V out is equal to 6 volt. So using this condition, let us find the ratio of this RF and R in. So first of all, for the given circuit, let us find the relationship between this output voltage and the input voltage. So to find that, let us consider the one source at a time. That means by using the superposition principle, we will find the output voltage. So first of all, let us consider this input voltage V in as 0 and let us find the output voltage because of this reference voltage. So here, since the op-amp is the ideal op-amp, so no current is flowing into the op-amp terminal. And let's say the voltage at this end is equal to V plus. So this voltage V plus will be equal to this R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times V reference. So this V plus will act as an input for the given op-amp. And let's say at that time, this output voltage is equal to VO1. So this VO1 is equal to V plus times 1 plus RF divided by R in. And if we put the value of V plus, then we can say that this VO1 is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times V reference times 1 plus RF divided by R1. So this will be the output voltage of the op-amp when this V reference is acting alone. Similarly, let us find the output voltage when this input voltage V in is acting alone. So at that time, we will consider this V reference as 0. So once we consider this V reference as 0, then this R1 and R2 are connected to the ground terminal. So in this condition, let's say, the output voltage is equal to VO2. So in this condition, if you see the op -amp, then it is configured in the inverting configuration. And we know that for the inverting configuration, the output of the op -amp can be given as minus RF divided by this R in times V in. So this will be the output voltage of the op -amp when this input voltage V in is acting alone. So now, if you see the overall output voltage of the op -amp, then this V out will be equal to VO1 plus VO2 that is equal to R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times V reference times 1 plus RF divided by R1 minus RF divided by R1 times V in. So in this way, we found the relationship between this output voltage and the input voltage. Now in this expression, if you see this term, then it is the constant because this R1 and R2 as well as this V reference is fixed. So let's say this term is equal to A. That means we can say that this output voltage V out is equal to A times 1 plus RF divided by R1 minus RF divided by R1 times V in. Now in this expression, using the given conditions, let us find the ratio of this RF and the R in. So here we have been given that whenever this V in is equal to 0.1 volt at that time, this V out is equal to 1 volt. So as per the first condition, we can write this expression as 1 is equal to A times 1 plus RF divided by R in minus RF divided by R in times 0.1 volt. Let's say this is the expression number 1. Similarly, as per the second condition, whenever this V in is equal to 1 volt at that time, this V out is equal to 6 volt. That means we can write this expression as 6 is equal to A times 1 plus RF divided by R in minus RF divided by R in times 1. And let's say this is the expression number so if we subtract the first expression from the second expression, 
then this term will get cancelled out and we will have this 6 minus 1 or phi is equal to minus rf divided by r in minus minus of 0 0.1 times rf divided by r in that means phi is equal to minus 0.9 times rf divided by r in that means rf divided by r in is equal to minus 5.55 and of course this ratio should be positive that means here we will consider only magnitude that means the magnitude of this rf divided by r in is equal to 5.55 and therefore for the given question this d is the correct answer